A total hip replacement is the best surgical procedure which can be done. More than 97% of our patients are satisfied. The reason for this high grade of patient satisfaction is their enormous relief in pain. The total hip replacement is a perfect pain killer. In the upcoming video sequence, I will show you where the pain in the hip arises and why a total hip replacement effectively can reduce it. The hip joint is our pivotal point. Its hyaline cartilage is as smooth as glass. However, in an osteoarthritic condition, there is inflammation, pain and loss of range of motion. The patient is limping. Modern artificial joints replace the cartilage. A modern artificial joint is able to reproduce three-dimensional moves like here in golfing. Due to its wear resistance, a modern total joint is also appropriate for continuous dynamic loads like in jogging. My patients often ask me in the office, is this the right time for having surgery? My answer always is, this is up to you. I, as an orthopedic surgeon, I am able to see how far the osteoarthritis has progressed. What I am not able to see, how much the osteoarthritis of your hip bothers you in your daily life. If you think about having total hip surgery, you really want to know what will go on with you. And there have been many new things around during the last few years. The main advantage of today's hip surgery is the minimally invasive technique. It means that, that we use only small incisions, but beside the small incisions we do not rip off any muscles from the hip joint. And also nowadays we have dedicated implants for younger patients like this ceramic on ceramic large diameter hip replacement. So you see this is over a broad range of motion nearly failure proof against dislocation. And due to the ceramic surfaces there is very low wear in the long run. So this is the reason why we allow our patients also sports activities. If you want to see such a surgery, just follow me into our OR. Minimizing the risk of infection is our number one goal. All of our surgical procedures are performed in surgical theaters, which are exclusively used for orthopedic services. Beyond the climate technology Lamina airflow, our surgeons wear astronauts' helmets. By this means, the breathing air of the surgeon is filtered away from the patient. We will show you how a total hip replacement is performed minimally invasive. For this, the patient is positioned on a specialized surgical table where the leg can be hyperextended and adducted. The incision is about 9 cm long. Below the skin incision, the key to the minimal invasive techniques is the blunt preparation between the muscles with the pure finger. Due to the blunt exposition and the use of specialized retractors, we can get an overview to the hip joint without sacrificing any muscles. The only cut which is made is the osteotomy with a specialized oscillating saw. The leg is then hyperextended and adducted. So the destroyed femoral head can be removed. 
The preparation of the acetabulum is performed by using serial remus. For this patient we use a monoblock cup consisting of a hemispherical titanium shell and a ceramic air couple. The next step is the key to the success of minimal invasive technique. By external rotation of the leg and the use of the angulated instruments, the cutting surface gets into the side of the surgeon. The surgeon then uses special remus to open up the medullary canal of the femur. Whenever possible, we use a rectangular profile short stem. Due to the stability of the rectangular profile, it allows for full weight bearing immediately. The joint is completed using a large diameter ceramic ball head. The joint is then reduced. Due to the retention of all muscles and the large diameter of the ball head, there is nearly no way for a dislocation of the joint. The muscles close over the joint by themselves. The only tissues which have to be sutured is the superficial fascia of the body and the skin. The surgery is finished now. You have seen now how a total hip replacement can be implanted in a minimally invasive way. This is a highly standardized procedure which takes normally less than one hour. If patients are not too big, uh, even less. There are only two approaches to the hip which can state that they are minimally invasive. One is the anterior approach, the other is the anterolateral approach that you have seen before. The advantage of this approach in our hands is that it has less nerve damage and it has a very low rate of postoperative dislocation. This brings us to the complications. One of those complications might be dislocation. Due to the fact that all the muscles stay intact, the rate of dislocation after our approach is in the per mil range. The biggest risk in total joint replacement might be that of thromboembolism. In former times when we have used injection therapy against thromboembolism, we had a rate of 2.7%. Nowadays we use tablets which are highly effective and the rate of thromboembolism is lower. The most feared complication in total joint replacement is infection. We have a bundle of measures against in infection. It starts at the beginning where we have a preoperative testing uh, against um, hospitalism bugs. You see, we use those astronaut gones uh, for an optimal insulation of the, uh, the surgeon and the patient. And we have also specialized laboratory investigations where we can see a persistent inflammation in the body of the patient. All this makes inflama inflammatory results or uh, bacterial infections to a complication also in the per mil range. All patients are separately informed before surgery on other complications additional to the mentioned. If surgery is finished, the patient is transferred to the recovery room. He sleeps there overnight and at the next day he gets out of bed. He can do his first steps, at least they lead him to the bathroom. In Germany, patients stay in the hospital five to seven days with a total joint replacement. In this time, whenever it is appropriate, I do the first steps with my patients without any crutches. 
In general, we recommend the crutches for a period of five to six weeks just to have the wound healing uneventful. In Germany, we also recommend a stationary rehabilitation. We have partner clinics nearby where our Oberarzts come to visit the patient once a week. The total hip replacement is a most effective surgical procedure which can be done. It gets its efficiency due to the efficient pain reduction by the procedure. If you are a candidate for this procedure, depends highly on how your quality of life is reduced due osteoarthritis of the hip.